Right, so I, I am somewhere else once again. This time, my good friend Barney invited me to his house. He has the Lauer Pro Blends that he got from a, for a shoot he did at a tailor's. Yep. Shot some really sick like material shots going through um, some really cool fabrics. Today, it's not gonna be so highbrow. We're gonna try to get some like cool shots, like individual shots. They're not gonna make sense together, but I think we're just gonna see what we can get out of this thing uh, and just have a bit of fun. So for this first shot, we're on a slider going forward and back to get a shot of this little Bluetooth speaker. What we're finding so far is that every little shake is really accentuated. This, this slider is a tiny bit shaky and you can really, really see it. The other thing is because this lens um, is so close up, it stops down to around f22, which means you need a lot of light. We have a 300D just blasting straight onto it and it's, it's just about enough. Um, trying to add a bit of like a blue color in there and it's it's barely visible even with a couple like two blue lights so that's another thing to keep in mind but let's see how this turns out ah nice yeah yeah with a bit of stabilization and like just tweaking it a little bit to get rid of that um that shake it looks pretty great. Okay, so a bit of an update. We tried the watermelon uh, and it looks a bit gross. So Barney's gone to get another watermelon and we're gonna try something a little bit different. I think that's gonna look much better. But in the meantime, I've set up the bread shot, which uh, is a knife point of view while cutting bread. And I think it looks really good. So this is it. I literally just taped a knife to the end of the lens. Uh, and then we're getting like a knife point of view. It looks quite cool right now. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's actually moving. So the watermelon shot didn't really work out. But before I get into that, let's have a look at the bread shot. Okay, so I have it on a timeline here. I just put a quick lot on it. And it's a really cool perspective. So it's just not something you would normally see. I think it's worked out pretty well. You can see all the little flakes coming off. So, so it works best when the knife is at the top rather than kind of already going through the bread. Originally, I thought it would look cool if the probe lens was kind of inside the bread, but I tried that, it just looked like a mess. So the best bit you get is, is right here where you're like first cutting into it. I think that's turned out super well. I really like that. So I think this would look best in like a sequence where you show uh, a full dish or like a meal getting prepared from the point of view of the knife. So if we had like some bread or maybe some tomatoes, some other vegetables, and maybe not just from the point of view of the knife, but from the point of view of the utensils, I think that might be a really cool sequence. So yeah, I'm happy with that. It looks cool. It's a bit unusual and there's definitely potential for other things here. So this definitely worked out. Now, the watermelon. The first mistake was that the hole I carved in it was just way too wide. So you just didn't get that cool sort of pro blends feel of being close to something like a, this sort of macro perspective. So we went out to get another watermelon and I used this thing to carve out a uh, pineapple. And what you get when you take it out is this spiral of the fruit. So we took that off, put it on a cutting board and spread it out so we had this like spring of watermelon. And I thought that would look great because it would give the watermelon a bit more definition and it, it, I just, in my head, it looked good. And then we tried it. Let me, let me just show you. So this is the shot. You can see we have it on this breadboard and this is the, the kind of spiral, the spring of the watermelon. Um, it's just lit from the top with a soft box with the 300D. We didn't try any sort of like color lights this time. And from here, it doesn't look too bad. It just looks like a watermelon donut. Um, but as soon as you start going in, you realize that it just looks pretty gross. 
uh, especially if you don't see the start. You just kind of start here and then you go back. I mean, there's nothing appetizing about this. Thinking about it now, I don't know why I thought this would look good. I mean, uh, a fruit of this color in that shape with a pro lens was an absolute recipe for a disaster. But what are the takeaways here? Well, firstly, in terms of just using the pro lens, if you're using it with a slider, make sure you have a very sturdy setup because any shake will show. We switched to a different slider after that first speaker shot and it was a lot smoother. So definitely keep that in mind. The second thing I learned here is that using a probe lens is a lot different from anything I've had experience with in the past. Even though I've seen footage from it, it was still quite hard to imagine what footage from it would really look like. And that's just because I don't really have a lot of references to draw from. So if you're planning on using this lens for your next project, either stick to what you know looks good because you've seen it done before, or make sure you have a couple days to test your ideas. And lastly, and this is a more fundamental thing, sometimes things just don't work out the way you want them to. I was kind of reluctant to release this video because I wasn't really happy with the amount of footage that Barney and I got and I didn't really like the footage that we got, at least some of it. And then I realized that this might be a good opportunity to share this side of filmmaking because, and you know, you might not relate to this, but sometimes I'll go on Instagram and I'll see all the amazing things that people that I follow are creating and making. And understandably, no one really shares their fails so you just end up with this kind of skewed sense of reality and you end up thinking that, you know, everyone always makes these amazing things. Um, and that's just because you don't see that other side of it. So I wanted to share my fail with you so that hopefully you can learn from it and remember that sometimes no matter how good something might look in your head, it might just end up looking like ass. And that's the moral of this video. Hit the like button if you learned from my mistakes. Subscribe and hit the little bell for more content just like this, though hopefully better. But that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video.